Happy Friday, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for Morning Mobility. It is 7 o'clock. We're going to go ahead and get started down on the floor this morning. So we're going to go down to hands and knees, starting with wrist mobility. So go ahead and place your hands nice and flat on the floor. We're just going to slowly rock back and forth. We're going to go into three different positions here this morning. So starting off in this position, just rocking forward, keeping the whole hand flat on the floor. Go ahead and try to push away from the ground as well. So we're pushing up into the shoulders. And let's go ahead, turn the hands sideways now. Feel free to rock forward and back here. Maybe some side to side. So just play around with your weight shifting here. You can go side to side, forward and back. Let's focus on nice, deep breathing. And go ahead and turn the hands as far as you can, if you can reach them facing you. So turn the hands behind. This is the third position. So again, little, little tiny rock backs here. So slightly forward, slightly coming back, getting a really good stretch on the bottom side of the forearm. And just going to your tolerance this morning. So if you can't make it all the way around, that's okay. Go ahead to that second position. So turn the hands back out to the side. And then reach, bring those fingertips to the first position, pointing forward. Okay, go ahead and flip one hand up so the top of the hand's on the floor, making a fist with the other. Driving into the palm of the hand, and we're just going to rotate at the shoulder. So anchoring down that hand, rotating at the shoulder, my whole arm is still straight. Let's go ahead and switch. So go ahead, other hand that was just in a fist, place that facing up, make a fist with the other hand, press into that palm. Rotating at the shoulder. All right, we're going to move into the upper back now. So we're just going to go into our cat cows, but focus on breath work. So as we inhale, we're going to bring the back spine up to the ceiling. Exhale, drop belly button down to the floor. So take this moment to become aligned with your breath. Let's go two more. All 
All right, go ahead from this position, push back into your heels. So we're gonna lock out the lumbar, sp lumbar spine. We're gonna work on our thoracic rotation, so upper back rotations. We're gonna come up with one elbow, so reaching back, and then we're gonna thread it through and drop to the other side. I'm going to go back and forth here. So if you need a little bit of a wider base with the knees, go ahead and do so. So again, sitting back, reaching that elbow back, looking up, then sitting back, dropping the shoulder down to the floor. So we're going to inhale as we bring the elbow back. Exhale as we drop through. Let's go one more on each side. So nice big inhale. Exhale, drop it down. Bring it back up. Last one. So we're going to sit back into our heels. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, drop through. Good, bring it up. <clears throat> We're gonna keep the feet together, but go ahead and get the knees a little bit wider now. So maybe about the width of your mat, if you have a mat. We're gonna sit back into our heels. Try to get that chest down to the floor, so we're dropping the elbows, forearms down. So now we're gonna try to walk our fingertips away from us, so we're really opening up the lats and the lower back. So walk those fingertips away. If you can, use one hand to help bend the elbows. Push those elbows into the floor slightly. Nice deep breath and then exhale. So wherever you feel comfortable, just hang out there for a little bit. If you can't bend your elbows, that's okay. Focus on just lengthening the lats this way. Okay, go ahead and walk it up for just a moment. And then we're going to walk it back out nice and slow. Then walk it back up. And back down. See if you can get a little bit of a, more of a stretch with a side bend. So walking the hands to one side. Just hang out there for one breath, and then you're gonna walk the hands slightly to the other side, emphasizing one side at a time. So just back and forth a few times. You might notice you're tighter on one side than the other. Make sure not to tense up, just relax. Let the muscles open and lengthen. The last one. All right.
right, we're going to move on down to the hips now. So let's go ahead and get into our downward dog. So we're going pushing back into our heels. Stretch out the back side. Tap those knees down to the floor. And we're going to go right back into our downward dog. So we're just getting warmed up here. Then we're going to move into our hip openers. So let's go one last rep here. So now I want to take one leg, extend it into the, extend it up towards the ceiling, bend the knee, and slightly drop that heel to the other side. So I'm squeezing that glute. I'm not falling over, just staying in control of this movement. Let's go ahead and switch. So go ahead, bring that leg up nice and straight, bend the knee, slightly drop that heel to the other side, opening up the hip. Okay, let's go other side, bend the knee, drop the heel, switching sides. So we're going to extend, bend, and then drop. Last one on each side. So extend it, bend, and last one here. Good. Go ahead and bring it down into our world's greatest. So bringing one foot up to one hand, dropping that elbow down, big reach. And we're gonna reach with both hands. So we reach with that one, we're gonna turn, reach with the other. Bring it back out to plank, switching side. So elbow down to instep, reaching up nice and big. Switching hands. And let's go one more each leg. Drop the elbow. Reach up towards the ceiling. Look up at those fingertips. Switching hands. And last one here. All right, go ahead and drop it down to our half kneeling. So we're going to start three, three different positions for our hip openers. We're going to lunge and slightly rock forward. So we're going to go forward here three times. Go ahead and slightly angle that leg out a little bit. So we're going to lunge at an angle now. Three reps here. And go ahead and if you can see if you can bring that leg out a little bit wider. Three reps here, rocking back and forth. And we're going to go ahead and switch sides. So the same thing, other leg, straight forward here, three times. Slight ankle, three rocks back and forth. And bring out a little bit wider. We're going to go one more time on each side, see if we get a little bit more loosened up here. So three positions, three little rock backs, each one. Again, we're not overstretching. We're going to wear a position that feels good. Good. Switching sides. Forward. 
Rock. Slight angle. And this is good too because it works on our ankle mobility as well. Feel free to place the hand on the knee. You'll feel a little bit of pressure there. Last position. Good, let's go ahead, bring it down to the floor. More hip mobility. We're gonna sit in our bear position. So, toes are up, heels are on the floor. Keep those knees up and drop. So I'm placing my hands arms on the inside of the knee, just letting them relax. Sitting up nice and tall. We're going to go into a half straddle from this position with a reach if we are able to. So go ahead and straighten one leg out to the side. Other leg, try to drop that knee in. If this is already a pretty good stretch, hang out there. If not, Go ahead and get a little bit of a side reach. Bring the other arm over as well. Good, you're gonna bring that knee back up. Back into our bare position. We're gonna straighten the other leg out. So straighten first, then drop that knee. Find the comfortable position for you. If this is a good stretch, hang out here. If you want a little bit more of a stretch, go ahead and reach up and over. Good. Go ahead and bring it back to that starting position. So we're going to go back and forth here. So same thing. Chest up, nice big deep breath. Straighten one of the legs out. Drop the knee down. Big reach. Again, option just to stay in this position. Focusing on keeping that leg nice and straight. I'm going to go ahead and go right on back to the other side. facing forward. We're going to rotate those palms away. Bring hands behind us. From this position, reverse that movement. So palms facing away. When we come out nice and straight, rotate palms forward. Bring those hands behind the head. We're just going to go back and forth nice and slow. Keep the tension in the upper body. Only rotating when we get out nice and straight. So spread those fingertips, pull the arms away from you, rotate, bring them behind. Rotate forward, hands behind head. This is our last one here. Go ahead and finish up with a deep squat. So let's go ahead, sit on down, sit down between the ankles, keep the chest up. Let's focus on breathing. Good, let's go ahead. We'll bring it on up. Let's see if we can place our hands on the mat. 
Extend the legs. And then slowly roll it up. All right, that is all the time that we have left this morning for morning mobility. Thank you guys so much for joining me this Friday morning. I hope you're feeling ready to tackle your day. Just a reminder, don't forget to check your emails, register for our Healthy Holiday Challenge coming up. The end date for registration is next Friday, November 20th, so make sure you go ahead and do that, and we'll see you at 11.15 for Unravel.